Okay, this is a 98 production date 1197, uh, 740i. This has a non-IBIS cassette unit. Obviously, it's not the 99 and up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the C43 head unit, since I know that some members like Tyrone and Enbait uh, installed a Rover uh, CD43 unit, uh, QXC100 something, uh, which is equivalent to the BMW CD43 uh, OEM business unit. So. This is also an iBus unit, business cassette unit, so we'll see if it works. Uh, instead of going the full Navi retrofit for now, because I want uh, to get the dice uh, a silver line, let's see if it'll work, and supposedly it does with the, those units. So for now, that'll be a cheaper way to go uh, versus a full Navi retrofit. So I'm going to remove these, and I'm also going to demonstrate when the cassette units, uh, the deteriorating solder joints, cause a no sound or popping. Uh, this was a problem with my 95, and I have an, a spare radio unit from my 96 that I wrecked, unfortunately. Just to show you. Uh, how that is a problem uh, which can be confused sometimes with a DSP amp if equipped. Now uh, the 95 that I had was not DSP equipped so it was just a standard uh, hi-fi amp. So I'll get back to you once I remove this cassette unit and install the other one. This is currently what I'm using for my iPod or iPhone. But hopefully I can have full integration when I get the silver line, if it'll work. Okay, so I unscrewed the sides. Uh, it's usually a hex. I don't know, I believe it's like a, a 3 millimeter, But a, a Torx key T10 will work fine. So pull it out. Ugh. Look how dusty this is. And, uh, oh, not much room to play with here. Diverse the antenna and then your antenna cable. Just pull them out. And this, a lot of people had questions and were confused how to remove this. All you do is just you pull this, and if it's stuck, you can use a screwdriver. And uh, I don't have much room to play with here. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do that again because I inadvertently closed the lens to the camera so it didn't show you. You basically just pull up on it. Voila. I'm surprised it came off that easily because usually it doesn't and sometimes it requires use of a flathead screwdriver to pull it up. But anyway, this unit works. It looks like I gotta clean it. <clears throat> we will try this unit, which I don't know what year it came from, if it was my 96. Whoops, didn't get it in that time. Okay. I'm gonna have to plug this in to test it because I'm using the CD changer. Okay. All right, turn it on. Any sound? Oh, nope. Hit a CD. Huh? Okay, so there's CD. I can barely see the screen. I want to see you cool as a dry. See it won't tune.
I've got no radio reception. Let's try the other unit. Okay, so I got this other unit plugged in. Let's try that. See? Presets. So this is a good unit. Jesse Lozano paying your bills in 10 minutes and how about Wango Tango tickets? Anybody? Anybody? Alright. Round 420, gonna play the all the way. Wango Tango! Like crazy to go to Wango from LA. Okay, so that's the good unit from the 98. Oh god, Lady Kaka. Okay. And this is from the 95, it's also the C23 unit. And I know that because the sticker is different. PN 65.12-8352868 uh, Same part number 65.12-8352868 397 okay. This one doesn't tell me when it was made Okay, shut up, Lady Crappa. <clears throat> pulling out, pulling out. Okay. Oh. 1995. Okay, let's try the C43 unit. Okay, before I plug in the C43 unit, I'm going to remove this plug connector which goes to the non iba CDC because I don't want it to interfere with this. Okay. So just took the key from the trunk, the toolbox in the back, take the blue, pull it out. This is your locking clip or whatever. And just push it right out. See? You're not going to need it anyway when you do the retrofit. I mean the uh, the switch. So I'll plug it back in and get back to you guys. Okay. So oh yeah, forgot. The uh, older head units required a code before you can actually use it. Uh, if you punch in the code incorrectly three times. It'll lock the radio out for about an hour, so you're going to have to keep the ignition on or at least the unit powered up for a whole hour before it'll accept uh, another set of three codes before it goes through the whole process again. So anyway, the code is on the sticker there. Okay, you guys won't know what it is. Boom. The only thing is that when you first turn it on, you won't be able to use this knob until you turn that knob first. Now how lame is that? Okay, look. No sound. Oh, let's try this one. Yep. See? Oh, looks like we only get volume buttons. I guess I have to connect the iBus. There's one pin on there, but iBus should be connected because we can control the volume. I don't know. What? I don't get it.
Ah, I get it now. Okay, these cassette units are a fixed output, but when you actually plug in this one, it has its own built-in amp. Okay, that's why it's distorted. Watch, I'm going to turn this up really loud. Turn this down. You hear the distortion? Because this has its own amp where you can connect the speakers directly, whereas these have a fixed output. Ah, that's the drawback. So I guess the best thing to do is just to turn that on and just use that because it's at a set level. No DSP! This here is a cassette unit from an E39, which is my 97540i6, and it's uh, an IBIS unit, uh, manufactured in 96. It's a C33. The chassis is the same, which is a single DIN unit, but the face is different, so I imagine maybe you can transplant the electronics into one of the cassette mechanisms? I don't know. Uh, that's something that I will explore, but this is a C33. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll take this. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Okay, and stick it in. That's as far as it'll go. I don't want to scratch the thing there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we've got radio. You notice this doesn't have a display, so all the controls should be displayed on MID. Yeah, there you go. Just like I remembered on E39. Feeder. Balance. And we've got DSP. Anytime, anywhere. It comes in three great so. flavors. Peppermint, spearmint, and cinnamon. Don't get caught without the new Colgate Whisk. Let's throw this in here and see what happens. Got tape. I'll plug it into my... So that's certainly an alternative. Pure energy. Pure
Okay, so that's certainly an option. Uh, using an E39 cassette unit, somehow uh, modifying this, or just removing the face. I don't know. Uh, that's certainly something that I can't explore. the windshield. Oh, I was able to put my mirror back, but it's a little loose. So. <sighs> Check backup lights. Certainly do that.